and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code PULA at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to go over the best set in Madden 20, guys. As you guys know on the channel, if you've been watching for any period of time, it's been quite a while since we've gotten something like this because EA has really lacked with this kind of content for a while now. But these are the best sets in Madden, hands down. I always recommend you do them, especially, like, for most, most typical, like, amazing, like, top tier 97 overall God Squads. This might not be too viable. But for most people, it is just because of the value you get from doing something as such as this. Now, essentially, I'm going to go over all the math for you guys. Will it be free? Will it be close to free? Will it be worth it? Of course, it can be worth it. Will it be close to free? Of course. And for real lucky, it will be free. Now, I'll be getting into all of this, guys. This is one of my favorite sets in Madden. I always, always, always do these sets, guys. I love these sets. I think they're so great to do. They're fun. They're interesting. I always do them. I haven't done this one yet. Only because I've been saving some coins. And I'm gonna I plan to do it as soon as I'm ready to do it. But I did already pick up Barry. Now the issue with this is that I do plan to go back and sell Barry and then get this one. But I'll go over all that as we get into the video. But guys, before we get into the video, make sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn that notification bell, boys. Come join the family. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up as always. And if you haven't already, comment down below if you guys need any help with anything. And for most of you guys who are fans of the channel, you probably already know what we're about to do. Now let's head over to sets and let's go over to color smash. Now this is interchangeable, so you can either do the Ed Reed Master Set or the Barry Sanders Master Set. And I'm going to show you guys how to do this perfectly to make sure you at least get your money back or even get some players for free. Now, Ed Reed, you get Ezekiel Elliott, Robert Woods, Kendall Fuller, and Barry Sanders, you get Matt Ryan, Mark Andrews, and Mario Davis. Now, this all depends on what you need. So, if you're a lower-end budget squad, right, and you want, remember, there's multiple methods to this. Now, if you want Matt Ryan, Mark Andrews, or Demario Davis, you do this set. If you want these guys over here, you do this set. It really just depends. Now, there also will be a method where you get the master. Stay tuned for both. But we're going to start with the people who want to actually keep the Nat cards and don't want the master cards. Now, I'm sure you guys have to get some of these Nat cards for damn near cheap or damn near free. Now, remember, these are still very useful cards, 96 overalls. Now, Ezekiel Elliott, he's decent. Not my favorite card. But if you want Ezekiel, you want a running back, you want Robert Wood, you want Kendall Fuller. Now, in my opinion, which one would I do? Personally, I don't think I do the Barry only because I wouldn't use the Mario Davis. I wouldn't use Matt Ryan. At I do like Mark Andrews, though. But I guess in this case, you could put Zeke as a backup running back. You could put Robert Woods as a backup receiver and Kendall Fuller as one of your starting corners. So this one's probably the better one to do of the three. Now let's go into pricing. So let's break out the handy dandy calculator real quick. So we got 170K, 174 to be exact. But remember, you can get these for a little bit cheaper. Never buy them at face value. That's my one biggest thing with these methods. Make sure you buy these for around like 165. Trust me, just city refreshing a little bit. You'll find a 165 one. I'm going to put that as the base price. So 165, 165, and then 165. Or is this one a little more expensive? Okay, this one's going to be like 170 Because this one's a little more expensive. Because it's probably one of the better ones. Kenneth Fuller is pretty good. It's pretty nice. So, remember. Always snipe him out first. Because you can save a quick little 30k doing such. So, let's do 165 plus 165 plus 165,000. So, it will cost you 495,000 to do the set. Now, Ed Reed goes for... Let's go find Ed Reed's base price. we got to find all those numbers first. But we can do anything. So, there's going to be like three methods to this. Now, my personal favorite method... For my team isn't this one because I don't plan to keep the Nats. But for budgety, budgety teams or less or non-God squads, in my opinion, I think the first method is amazing. You get three startable players on your squad for cheap. And I'll show you guys exactly how in just a second. Let's head over to the 9899s. So remember this base price. It costs $4.95 to do the set. $4.95. Now, Ed Reed, it appears that they go for around... After reduction, you're going to get about 300k back. So let's go with 300k. So let's start with the method of one. Method one is where you keep the Nats... Method ones where you keep the nats and you sell the master. So let's do the set. So after doing the set, cost you 495. Now you sell Edry for 330. You get back 300 uh, 300k after reduction. So you subtract 300,000 coins. So that's a grand total. It's it cost you 195,000, 195,000 to do to get all three players. So remember, each player goes for by themselves 165 to 175. So essentially, for the price of one, you got two for free. Now, if you really want to make this more interesting, if you really want to get like one for free, let's say you didn't want Zeke and you didn't want Robert Woods, you only wanted Kendall Fuller. So what you do now is you quick sell Ezekiel Elliott and Robert Woods. And from what I've been told, the quick sell is a cut in half, obviously, but it's candy. So you quick sell two of them. So now you're at 195K. You quick sell two of them. They go for around like 900, 9,000, like 500 each just about. So that comes out to about 19,000 total color smell uh, candy so then you, you come over here you're only a thousand five hundred short get another thousand five hundred um candy from the solos 
Very simple. Go play the souls, get that done. You open up this pack. Now with this pack, you get back another 96 overall player. So now you have Kendall Fuller, and now you have an auctionable color smash 96 overall player. So what do you do with that? Now 195,000, you subtract, you sell that card. You sell it for 175, is what it's going for on the market at most times. And then you go on ahead and you go subtract that from the total. So now you sell it for 175, after reduction you get back 160, and then you subtract 160. So that comes out to a grand total of 35,000 coins. It costs you 35,000 coins to get a Kendall Fuller. That's almost free. A 96 overall. So all you gotta do guys to recap the method one is you do the set, you sell Ed Reed, you quick sell two that you don't want, you keep the one, and you end up with one for 35,000 coins. So if you want Kendall Fuller guys, do not go buy him, just do this method. And to make it even better, you can go to your solo, get the free one, and then you have two free. You know what I'm saying? Almost two free. Remember, the one from the solo you cannot use in the set, so do not actually go ahead and try that, because that will not work. They do not take it. And I understand why they don't take it, but in the past they have, but apparently they do not do that. Now, on to method two. Remember the base price, 495,000 coins when you buy three of them. So let's go back to the base price. This one's pretty cool as well. So this one's 495,000 coins. So what you do here is... Let's say you want to buy, this is for people who want to buy the master, like me. I'm going to get Barry Sanders anyways. So let's say you want, you want Barry Sanders. So you go ahead and you do the set, 495. Now what you want to do is, you're going to finish the set, you're going to quick sell all three of the Nat cards. All three of them. That comes out to, I believe, like 28,000-ish uh, candy. So now you have 495,000 coins spent. You have Barry Sanders and 28,000 uh, candy. So what you're going to want to go do is, go on ahead to the, um, the store. And this method is for people who want to keep the master. Remember, so you're going to go ahead, you're going to buy one of these. You buy one of these, and then you sell it for 175, you get reduction 160. So now you're at 335,000 coins, and you have Barry Sanders, and you still have about 7,000 uh, candy left. So essentially, think about it this way. You already, Barry Sanders goes for that price. So you got, you pretty much got free $7,000, uh, $7,000, 7,000 candy. Now you could go ahead and use that candy to get two random eggs. Test your luck if you're feeling lucky. You want to, if you want to be secure, you do one of these. You easily get at least like anywhere between 30 to 70k back on these. Actually, no. If you get 95, you get like 30 to about 120,000 back on these. So let's say you get 30k back. That leaves you with 305,000 coins. So now you got Barry for a reduced price of about 20k. Let's say you pull one of the better ones. Let's say you get 60k. Now you got Barry for 270. Let's say you pull 100k. Now you got Barry for 230,000 coins. So pretty much this method two is a way of discounting the masters and getting them at a reduced cost, which is super effective as well. And then there is the third method, guys. The third method involves keeping one nat, keeping the master, and still getting a reduced price overall, which this one is one of the ones that I've done in the past because typically there's always like one master I want, like at the Super Bowl, I wanted the fullback, just have my team, and I was going to do that. So let's say, let's go to this one. Let's say you want Kendall Fuller because you need a starting cornerback and you want Ed Reed. So let's go back to our base price, 495,000 coins. Is what we're working with here on our base price. So 495,000 coins. So you do the whole set. You're keeping Ed Reed. So you only want Kendall Fuller. So you quick sell Zeke and Robert Woods. Again, you're going to get about 18,500 back. You go do the solos. You get to the 21,000. And you do the random 96 overall. So you subtract 160,000 coins. So now, for the small cost of 335,000 coins, you now have Ed Reed and Kendall Fuller. Now here's the beauty of this thing. Ed Reed himself goes for 330K. So you subtract 330K. And you end up with... Kendall Fuller for 5k. Think about it. Cost 335k. You have Ed Reed and you have Kendall Fuller. Ed Reed goes 330. If you sell him, you now have Kendall Fuller for free for 5k. That's not bad at all, guys. This is why these are the best methods in the game. Now, remember, you don't have to. This isn't some like coin making method. This is just a method to save your ass some coins. So, again, method one, you get three nat players if you'd like. Three nat players for the price of 180k or you go a step further and you quick sell some and you end up with one nat player for damn near free method two you keep the master and you end up getting the master at a discounted cost method three you get to get a master and a nat for the price of just the master so why ever buy just ed reed when you can get ed reed with kendall fuller you know what i'm saying like that's what i always tell people by just buying them on the market you're, you're losing coins you could easily get like if you're gonna spend 330k anyways that's such a lot of that's a lot of coins but you know how much better it feels to know that you got ed reed and kendall fuller for that price it's like 180 it's like now like 160 each like you got it on a discount you got ed reed for 160k you know what i'm saying it's just so much more worth it in my opinion i recommend you go try this out try one of those methods out now for god squad like for a team like mine i recommend more than likely this method 
this method or the reduced method. So method two or three for like a God Squad where you really can't use the Nats. Maybe Kendall Fuller is a backup. But for me at this point, I probably do method two. So all the Nats, make as much back as I can, get some free candy and get a reduced uh, Edward Price. That's that's for me. For you guys, I'd recommend maybe method, for like budgety squads, I recommend method one. Get rid of the master, keep the three Nat cards for damn near free or, or, or get the one Nat card for cheap. Or for guys who are somewhere in between, like a guy who's like, maybe make my team where I'm kind of in between still where I could get away with this is right here. I get Kendall Fuller as like my third or fourth string cornerback. And then I, or I get Zeke because I just want him as a backup. And then I go ahead and I keep Ed Reed. But guys, all these methods are very viable. I highly recommend you try any of them that seem like they could suit your team. Highly recommend. Now guys, if you did enjoy today's method and you are excited to try this, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up down below. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn that on to a boys. I'm always dropping tips like this content everything that covers madden i pretty much do it on this channel so make sure you stay tuned and stay around for the rest of it guys thank you so much for watching hope you guys did enjoy today's video if you're new to the channel like i said subscribe thank you guys make sure to check out today's earlier video going over the candy but guys i'm about it. that's about it i'm out peace